What's up again, guys? <clears throat> I know it's been a long time since I've been uh, since I put a video up, but I was trying to give you guys a a break on having to continuously watch videos of boring rambling on, kind of like this. I picked these two blasters up. I know some people were starting to get kind of mad about uh, me putting up boring retail pack videos um, and label them with 2010 tops, knowing that people are going to go to them. Um, there are reasons. I do have my reasons for doing that, and it's not for the people that already know about stuff. It's for the people that don't know about it. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that still don't know. I had somebody, like seven or eight days later, finally see my message that Target had uh, retail packs of 2010 tops, and uh, that person had responded that they didn't even know it at that point, like seven or eight days later. These are Target exclusive uh, blaster boxes. Uh, I just realized it a few minutes ago that these uh, these actually have the commemorative, the patch card. But the reason I went to Target and got them is because of the throwback cards. I really, really, really want the throwback cards. I missed them last year because I didn't know about them. And then the year before, I don't even know if they had them or not. I don't believe so. But we'll go ahead and bust one of these open real quick. And I don't know if I'll just do it all together once at one time or if I'll uh, and then just adjust it fit it into two videos if I can. But I'm going to give it a shot here. I believe there's the patch card right there. So we'll open that up for the people that want to see it. Wow. I think you guys are going to like this one. Babe Ruth. Nice. 1923 World Series commemorative patch. Babe Ruth. Make sure I can get it in there without reflecting any light on it. That really is a it's a nice looking card. I know the patches are manufactured; they're not really worn by Babe Ruth, but still, it's a it's a really nice looking card. I really like it. Um, more than likely, this this and cards like this will end up on eBay because they're too hard to judge prices for. Because eBay's uh, market is so much better than uh, than Beckett prices can estimate with them being this new so there's the Babe Ruth and you know what I'll go ahead and do the other patch card that way anybody that just wants to see those can stop watching if they don't want to see more I'll open the, the four uh, there's only two packs of the throwback cards per box so after the two patch cards I'll open the uh, the throwback packs if I can figure out which ones they are I may not be able to Walmart boxes with the black background I could figure out which packs they were this one is Duke Snyder from the 1955 all-star game you can see them corners are nice and sharp those corners don't have any dings or damage on them at all I showed the I guess I'll turn it over so people can read it but the corners don't have any any fray or any white at all really nice looking corners I really like it when cards come out sharp like that, and I, I really like how sharp the front is. Uh, nice and glossy, a little bit of dust on it, but nice and glossy. Corners are all really spectacular. These are these are great cards to to display. I like gloss. I really do. I think it's really uh, important for displaying cards, and I'm I'm spending extra time here just giving people a chance to to be able to see. That's what the inside of a baseball card looks like. This black background here. It's that's kind of neat, or at least that's the background they chose to use. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of a white ding right there, but I mean that's to be expected with mass production cards. So there's those two patch cards. Now let's see if we can figure out which two packs. It's usually the top two or the bottom two. I'll bust this and see what it is. That's not it, so I'll try one from the bottom. Yep, I believe these are going to be it. So it looks like the uh, this is what I'm looking for right here. This tops classic tops logo with the curly T. That is what I'm looking for. Different from obviously the classic tops logo here on this uh, Beltray card. Let's see if I get them both in there. That's nice. I, I wanted some of these classic logos that were really important to me to get a, a good variety in the store. And apparently these backgrounds are going to be kind of like heritage's heritage backgrounds for base cards in Topps Heritage. Wainwright, Stubbs, Dustin Richardson rookie card, 
Now, this is another thing I wanted to check was the, uh, and those corners are kind of dinged up because of the because of the paper they're printed on. That's more like uh, 89 tops kind of type board. It appears that the inserts do not have the classic logo on them. At least that one doesn't. Another one of those million card giveaway. I know I made a mistake in my first videos because I wasn't uh, aware how important these cards were, but now I'm very aware of how uh, how important they are. So I don't I don't show the codes, and I don't. Uh, I've seen the everybody's questions on there or everybody's responses to my video. Um, I do understand now that the the cards are very important. You can enter them in. You can enter the code in to uh, to receive one vintage card from whatever card Tops wants to send to you. But they uh, they've said that they're going to send at least one of every card they've ever printed uh, out to people. Here's the regular pack I open: Beltre, Butler, Padres, History of the Game, Hall of Fame. Yastrzemski, I've already got one of those. Kemp and Stewart. We'll leave those off to the side. We'll try to get this. Hopefully, this is a. Yep. So it's it appears to be the top two packs, other than the patch card. Ted Lilly, classic. Justin Dersher, classic. Dersherer. Yeah, Dersherer. Humberto Quintero. Mauer Ichiro Jeter, Ryan Sandberg card that your mom cards that your mom threw out, Ortiz. So again, the the tops logo on the insert cards is not the classic logo, so it's just the base cards. I wanted to, I always assumed that, but I wanted to verify that. So now we all know at the same time that we get these two. Wow, that one seems kind of thin. Let's try these two packs here. That one seems kind of thin. I bet it got mixed up when I took it out of the box. All right, Russell Brannion, Andrew Bailey, Rookie of the Year. No, yeah, Rookie of the Year. Will Venable, Zobris Gold, which has the normal logo, so this is just a regular gold card inserted. Cards that your mom threw out, Million Card Giveaway, Jones and Edwin Encarnacion. These, uh, as soon as I can get them spreadsheeted and uh, priced and put up into the store, guys, I'll get these... Uh, at least the classic base cards in there, the the base cards that you've or the retail packs that you guys have seen them that I've already broken open on videos. Those cards are currently in the store already. Uh, I have the base cards starting at three cents. Apparently, somebody's at the door. Hold up. Sorry about that, guys. I never had anybody actually ring the doorbell while I was doing one of these videos, so it never dawned on me that it could happen. I happen to notice something as I pick this pack back up off the table here when I came back to the camera. This uh, legendary lineage Lincecum and Bob Gibson card is actually, I believe, what people call diamond cut. You can see the years right here as you go across the card. The years, let me see if I can hold it straight here for you. You can see how this white corner here is higher above those years than the corner over here is. So this is actually a diamond cut card. And it, it really looks terrible, but and you can actually see the part of the photograph where it ends and it's just plain white uh, where Bob Gibson's leg gets cut off right there where it would be intended cut line was so if anybody's interested in it um, you'll have to shoot me a message on YouTube because I, uh, I won't post it in the store like that that just goes in my junk box um, I just I usually just keep my junk cards uh, on hand in case I need a, a scan of something that I don't have a, a good one of Back to the cards in hand here, the classic top lo tops logos here. I think this is the last pack I had. Yep. Scudero, Butler, Cardinals, team card. Ernie Banks, the cards that your mom. No? Not really sure what this one is, but you can see there's the back of it. Not sure what that card is. Uh, I've never seen, I haven't seen one like it before, so it could be something pretty significant. But I'm just not aware of uh, what that Banks card is. 